Hey, hey guys, what's up? Thursday, Thursday near and today I want to do a quick walkthrough video. Actually, two of them. Uh, one of them is going to include how to um, add um, co co combustible output to your um, crafting stations, basically. So, for example, when your fire burns out, it's going to add charcoal, for example. But it could also work for, say, you have a battery as a combustible item uh, and then when it burns out or the battery empties or is dead, you could add an empty battery as a new item. That's one of the things I'm going to show. The other one is um, going to show uh, how to add output items after crafting. It's a little bit different. Um, in this case, uh, think for example about um, I have a recipe that is a mushroom soup. For the mushroom soup you need uh, three mushrooms and you need a clean water canteen. However, currently in this system, this is by the way using Games by Hyper's uh, inventory and crafting system. Currently when you um, use the clean water canteen it's being consumed and it's gone. However, with this method you will be able to have it add an empty canteen to the output of the uh, crafting inventory. It will. It might make more sense when you see it. So I will just show you the things to do and the uh, code changes. Feel free to pass the video again. Pause the video again if you need to see the blueprint more in detail. And feel free to reach out to me if you need more uh, explanation or detail. Also, I have a very terrible cold, so my voice is sounding a little bit lower. All right, let's start off. Um, first things first, we need to get the structs uh, done. So we go to the hyper folder and then core. So we go to hyper and then the core folder. And then in here we have the inventory system and then the data model structures. And we'll start with the combustible thing. So we go to substruct attributes. And the first one is the combustibles. In here, we're going to add two new variables one will be a boolean uh, and i called it add items on end combustion and the second one is an array of the struct inventory slot item type which will be called something like output combusted items right okay that's easy next thing we need to do is actually add the um, logic to the uh, crafting component now before uh, i posted some screenshots in the discord as well um, and before it was in the, uh, what you call it, before it was in the inventory component, but the crafting and inventory have been uh, separated. So we go to the hyper folder, crafting, and then blueprints, and then crafting advanced. In here, there is somewhere on the left side, I think it's in fuel. I'm actually not sure because I already have it open here. It's called fuel timer, and it's underneath the fuel graph and then fuel timer just double click this to open and in here you probably need to also add this sequence i'm not quite sure what the original looked like um, but there is a uh, timer by event fuel tick custom event and you need to basically add these components or these nodes in here to make this work so the current fuel i think just is a variable from here and then uh, you can get the get inventory manager. I think this one is on component. Uh, and then you just make this work. It's very straightforward. And that's about it. Then you can, I will also show you how it then looks in the, uh, in the data table. So we go to the data table, DT items. And then for example, I have, I think my firewood has it set up. I'm not actually sure. I've added an item called firewood and then we should have the, let's see, where is it? Pop, 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 pop. Combustible attributes is combustible. Yes, output combusted items. So you have to set this to true, add items on end combustion, the one that we created in the struct. And then here you can add an item that it will add. It will add in this case three for my firewood and it will add charcoal. Now you can make this anything you want. If your combustible is a battery, you can make it output 
when it's burned out, so basically the battery is being used for a certain amount of time, then it runs out of juice or energy, and then it will end an empty, add an empty battery to the uh, inventory. This was case one, very straightforward. Here is the graph again, check it out, pause the video if you need to. Now we get into the second part, which will be adding output items to the crafting station. It's like I said, a little bit different. We go once again to the uh, inventory, to the core folder. So the hyper core and then uh, inventory, data model, structures, substruct attributes. And then I think it was an attributes crafting. Yes. Now I have a few different things here. So don't get confused by these last two. They don't, they don't count in this case. Um, but we're going to use the output items in here. You need to add another array struct inventory slot item type, and this will be called output items. Uh, and that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Then we go once again to our AC crafting advanced and we look for a graph called Q tick. I think it's in events. I can actually click it here because I still have it open. It's in the event graph and then crafting timer and then there is Q-tick. And in here, there is just this one simple piece that will be added as well in a sequence over here. So we have the add crafted item into the inventory. Then we have these parts and this array is coming from this node over here, the break struct attributes crafting. It will have the output items here and you can just drag it all the way to this for each loop and then it will add these items in here. Now if you're not if there is nothing in this array it will just not do anything pretty much you could add an extra branch in there to not even let this code run if there's nothing but yeah. I don't know if that's necessary cuz when there's nothing in this array the for each loop will immediately uh finish. So that's what it looks like. You have the, um, it's basically the input, you follow it along. And then after the add crafted item into the inventory, it will here have the sequence that you probably need to add. And then these little bits of code. Once again, get inventory manager on component and add item to inventory automatically. Feel free again to pause the video if you need to, uh, or message me when you need any uh, extra explanations. In the DT items, I will show you now how I did the, how I applied this. So I'm going for my mushroom soup and my mushroom soup is over here. I go to the crafting attributes and here you can see the recipe, which is important in this case. The recipe is three mushrooms. Now, beautiful, great. And it needs a clean water canteen. Previously, it would consume the uh, water canteen, clean water canteen when the crafting is done. Now by adding the output items, which you can find underneath here, you can see here that there is an extra item that I added empty canteen. It will add one empty canteen when the crafting is done. So that's about it. Pretty straightforward, short video, only eight and a half minutes, maybe nine. Um, I hope this will help you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, this will help you out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.